Hello everyone, welcome to 2019 and I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while, it's been raining a lot this side, alright? Now with that out of the way, what we want to do today is start working with the receipt preview, alright? So what we want is when we add a product, the receipt preview also gets updated. So without wasting time, let's go back to our Visual Studio code and in your KV file, under the preview box, which is right at the bottom. Let's create a text input, of course. Oops, text input. And give it an ID of receipt underscore preview. All right. And give it a, this property called read only. So read only simply prevents the user from modifying the text all right the user can only see it but it cannot modify it so set it to true and let's set the text and the text we are going to set is going to be the top of the receipt the header basically all right so this is usually going to be the name of the shop using this program so i'm going to stick with the collector all right and slash n one two three main street slash n again and i am going to say nowhere slash n nope i'll just say nowhere and space slash n slash n tell for the phone number all right you want your receipts to always have a way of context so one two three and four five six slash n again and i'll say receipt number so receipt number for now it's going to be blank date blank again and two slash n's control s to save and we're done with this one so go back so now we're going to add the totals and the product to our receipt, of course, all right? So we're just going to say update preview. So the first thing we want to do is get the preview, all right? So we're going to say receipt. You now what? Let's just call it preview. So preview is going to be self dot ids dot we called our text input receipt underscore preview. All right. With that done, what we want to do is get the text. So the receipt preview, how it's going to work is we are going to get the previous text, then update it with the new product we just entered. All right. So create a new variable previous text, and it's going to be preview dot text all right the text in our text input that's obviously the previous text so now i'm going to make a new variable called preview is going to be prev text dot find and we are going to try to find a back tick this is going is not going to make sense to you right now but i promise you just bear with me all right i'll explain this in a second so now we're going to say if the underscore prev is greater than zero. So if we found the back tick, we want to set previous text equal to the previous text from the beginning up to where we have that back tick. All right. And it's about to make sense now. Tap this in, go down here. And now we're going to say purchase purchase underscore total is equal to and we're going to start with the back tick and we're going to say to oops slash n slash n total and then i'm going to make about eight tabs one two three four five six seven eight and the total for this one for now is just going to be zero zero explanation time so what we're doing now is every time we create 
we add a product basically okay so let's start with the first time we add a product so the first time we add a product we are going to append this purchase total all right and it's going to start with a back tick so from then onwards every time we add a product we are going to look for the back tick and get everything before the total so what this is basically saying is go to the to the to our text input get everything but don't get the total because we want to change our total okay the total is going to change every time we update our product so the first product let's say it's a dollar if we add another product which is a dollar 20 then total is going to be two dollars 20 all right so we are just getting everything before the total all right easy enough control s to save go down here and now we can say new preview is going to be equal to and we're going to join this with a slash n so join and we're going to join a list of the first thing we want to do is our previous text so you always want to keep your previous text so it's going to previous text and then we want to add the name of our product so for now let's just work with this so name is going to be equal to product one and the price is going to be a dollar all right so with this we're going to say the name you know what let's call this p name p price okay so that we don't mix things so p name plus okay and it's going to be the string of the price so p price and then finally add our purchase total so purchase total Control S to save this. Before we run it, however, we want to add our tabs here. So let's just say plus and add about one, two, three, four. Four should do. So I just added four tabs. All right. Great. And now let's just say preview to text and set it to equal to the new preview control s to save this run it and now let's try it so one two three four hit enter and sure enough we get our total and now to demonstrate why we use the back tick add a product add a product and now the total always stays at the bottom now we have a problem we are adding one pro one product but the preview is giving us three okay so this is what we're going to fix in the next one for this one we're going to stop here all right so by the way let's fix this you probably don't have this fixed all right so what i did for this one by the way to fix the aligning is i went back up here and set the product total to two all right so set this to two then change the code head 0.3, change this to 0.2, the product total head 0.1, change this to 0.2, control S to save, and now everything should be aligned correctly. All right, so we are going to stop here for this one, and in the next one, we are going to fix this. All right, have a great one. I'll see you in the next one.